when we're down here 95% of the time, we're dealing with permanent rips. Permanent rip is a rip that's in the same spot on the beach all the time. Flash rips pop up randomly in all sorts of places and you can't really predict them. You just got to have an eye for catching them before they fully develop. The flags are usually the safest place to swim. But today, lifeguards constantly move the flags to keep swimmers away from flash rips. Sure enough, a flash rip developed in the south corner of the flag. It really pulled out a whole bunch of swimmers. And then I noticed one guy out the back who he was really struggling. It's the furthest guy the worst the entire team. As he's dragged out to sea, the man begins to panic. A clear sign he'll soon run out of energy. When people are going under, you don't leave anything in the tank. You just put your head down and paddle as hard as you can. I just didn't think he was going to come back up. There were moments where I had a good eye on him on my target and then moments where I had no idea where he was. The man can no longer keep himself above water. I just didn't think he was going to come back up. It's strange, time just slows down. You're hoping for a clean pickup, but it doesn't always go as planned. I'd lined him up, I was paddling, I had him in my sights and, you know, I was like, I got ya, I got ya, and boom. And I got him. When you complete a serious rescue, there's a, an overwhelming sense of satisfaction that we've completed our job. For the patient, um, there's usually gap gratitude but what follows shortly after that is embarrassment. Not everyone feels like telling the world about their near-death experience. Oh, hey, we, we filmed a documentary about the lifeguards. Oh, yeah. What happened out there? There was no way that bloke was giving an interview to the camera crew. Let's go for the way. Yeah. <laughs>